Breast imaging has made a, a huge impact on the care of patients in this country. 30% uh, uh, confirmed mortality reduction as a result of, of breast imaging. Uh, many new technologies such as breast MRI have made it uh, possible now to diagnose breast cancers even earlier and to treat with more conservative uh, treatment methods, not uh, as radical treatments as in the past. We are experiencing major problems across the country due to reimbursement. Many places are suspending or reducing their access to breast care uh, as a result of that. And you can see this in the longer wait times for examinations across the country. In many rural areas, uh, breast imaging is not available at present. We truly believe that these uh, deep and arbitrary cuts in reimbursement will significantly impair utilization of services across the country and particularly in rural areas such as Northwest Arkansas. Uh, we've made great strides in, in recent years in providing these services and we hate to see this, um, this end as a result of uh, these uh, harsh uh, reimbursement cuts. What's going to happen is, is if they start to cut reimbursement rates, you will see these smaller centers slowly closing. And my fear is if we continue to decrease our reimbursement rates and these smaller community, rural community hospitals close or providers aren't able to provide services, then these women are going to be even more defeated. If we don't dig our heels into the ground and ask Congress to slow down on what they're doing with our health care system and all the changes that they're trying to make so rapidly, I'm really fearful for how we all are going to receive health care in the future. So I'd like to urge you all to, to write to your congress, congressmen and, and ask them for their support to slow things down. We need breast centers. We need this breast center here is a lifesaver to so many people. I'd like to have us just kind of slow it down a pace and let's decide what is the best way to handle this. From a very personal experience, I believe wholeheartedly in the value of medical imaging because without it, I would not be here today. I'm almost certain, or if I was, I would have had a much harder fight to get here than I did. I realize I'm not the only one with a success story. There are millions of stories like mine across the country. Um, and sometimes the only way a doctor can diagnose a disease like breast cancer or other potentially life-threatening diseases is from medical imaging. Without medical imaging, they cannot find what they need to find to treat what they need to treat and to keep all of us healthy. It is not is not the time right now for Congress and the Obama administration to cut funding for imaging. I firmly believe that. And I support early preventive imaging. And I cannot imagine how different my life would have been if I would not been able to receive the care that I needed. That is a situation that I personally feel no one should ever have to face. In medicine, uh, we're, we're not able to run it like a factory. A factory, you would say, let's keep it at 90% capacity and we know what kind of how much product we're going to turn out. They don't have things like emergent care. There are patients that walk in the door today that thought they were healthy and they, we find out they've got cancer. Uh, we've got to be able to take care of those people and we can't take care of them if we're at 90 percent capacity and we have no room in the in the schedule to take care of them. So all of medicine works like that. Unfortunately we're, we're never going to be 100% efficient. We shouldn't be, otherwise there are people not being taken care of.